Hello, I photography. I'm Emily Lowry. I am a tutor, and I would like to show you the joys of your HSL sliders in Lightroom, or your hue, saturation, and luminance. This is a photo I took on the Lumix GH5 in Yosemite National Park, and it's going to be a good example to show you all about your hue, saturation, and luminance. There is a full Lightroom course available through iPhotography that goes through absolutely every single slider in a very simple to understand way. So if you would like to know more about Lightroom, then you can definitely watch that course and you'll get a lot out of it. Today, I'm going to concentrate just on this one panel because it's my favorite. <laughs> Honestly, all the good things in color grading and developing your own style come from manipulating color and understanding color. Sounds complicated, but I promise you it's not. Promise. Let me just, before we begin, just do a slight basic edit so we're ready to manipulate the color. And all I'm going to do is lift the shadows up just so we can see the trees a little bit more. That's all. Everything else we'll do in here. So let's start with hue. When you move a hue slider, you are changing the color tone of that particular color. So for instance, if we move the blue hue slider, if we keep an eye on the sky, if we pull it towards the teal area, you can see that it changes the sky entirely. And if we push it towards the more purple side, we get some kind of crazy alien planet. <laughs> And that is what your hue does. So with the greens, if we change the green slider, if we push it to the left, um, all of this should be going slightly more, so that's how it starts. All of this should be going more warm and autumny. And then if we push it to the right, we have that sort of Christmassy sort of green, I like to call it. Think how powerful this is. You now have control over every single color in your image in isolation. So if you wanted to change the color of the sky, you could literally just change one slider. It does make a difference. Now that's what hue does. I should also point out that if you want to pinpoint a color and you're not sure what type, um, what slider it's going to fall in, because sometimes we have overlap. We have purple and magenta, we have aqua, and blue and we have yellow and orange for instance so if it's sort of stuck between sliders we don't really know which one to move so if you choose the dabber and pinpoint say this tree you can now drag up and down to just change the colors of that one part of the image that is so powerful and i'll show you at the end when i edit this image sort of using them properly Let's move on to saturation. Now your saturation is how bold and saturated a color is or how desaturated it is. So just using the sky, for example, again, uh, if we take all the blue out of the image, suddenly we're left with sort of a selective color kind of image. All the blue in the sky is gone. And if we go in the opposite direction, it goes hyper saturated. I think saturation out of the three is probably the easiest to understand. I think um, most people are aware of saturation. Luminance on the other hand is one that a lot of people probably don't know about. And this is all about making a specific color lighter or darker. So using the blue, we can make the sky go really deep and using it to the right, we can make it really overexposed. So let's edit this photograph using the HSL sliders to change it um, into something a little bit more interesting. Starting with the hue, I'm going to concentrate on the sky. And personally, even if it's real or not, I quite like a little bit more teal in the sky. I think it's quite pleasing. And it has sort of made the mountains quite pleasing as well because there's quite a lot of blue in the mountain area. And in the luminance, I'm gonna make the sky more dramatic by bringing the blue down. So you can see already the sky is just popping. It's looking really colorful and really interesting. If the color is a bit too bold for your liking, we can tone it down a little bit 
by pulling the saturation out of the blue. And in the before and after, look how different and more dramatic that sky is just by moving the HSL sliders. Now, the greens in the trees, I would like using the hue to make them more autumny. So I'm going to take my dabber and put it on a tree and I'm going to push down to make all of those green colours become more sort of orange and autumny. And I'm also going to use the luminance and push upwards so that they become brighter and then down is darker. So I'm going to push them up. And sometimes it's worth dabbing a few different trees just so you can get different tones to pull up. And in the saturation in the trees, I'm actually going to make it a little bit, not mad, I mean that's mad, and that's desaturated, somewhere in the middle, quite warm. There we go. Now comparing that now to where we started, we started here, it's a very dramatically different look. That's where we are now. So that's the original. And this is where we are. 